It's so abusive, man. Wow. And... Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's DT here from Desert Reviews, and today on Desert Reviews, we're here to do the one, the only... Higurashi no Naku Koroni Gao, apparently as it's called, episode one. Um, yeah, so I may have to mute the episode occasionally just because of copyright reasons, but you you know, all the other stuff in the beginning. Without further ado, let's get into it in three, two, one. Oh, I don't even need to count down. Three, two, one. Zero. Kadokawa. Funimation Entertainment, you should be watching. So this is Higurashi no Nakukoro ni Gao. Rika. So from what I understand, this is this is a reboot. Like a fan was complaining to me saying it's a reboot. It's not a remake. Or anything of that sort. So I just want to clear the air. Hanyu! It's good to see you! I'm just a lingering trace of myself? Jesus. A hundred years were not enough. Holy shit. What do you know? This is... Wow. This is a reboot. Who kept tossing the dice hoping for luck would happen in her favor. I know everything. Even the rules of Hinami Zawa. I know who kills Rika Furude, too. Yeah, we already know how the game uh, game is played. I am a little confused, though. If she won in the past, why is she going back here? Again. Like, we already know what's going down. Okay, so... I might skip... Uh, I'm just gonna skip this. If you want the uncut footage, you know, you're gonna have to get somewhere else. I like this opening! Wow! You know, it fits perfectly with the mood, to be honest. I'm digging it! It seems as though that, like, everything fits together a bit. Like, I don't know, it's different from the original ending. I mean, from the original OP, but... It's good! It's good! Wow! Just, just, wow, mate. Wow. Just, bruv, holy crap, man, just... Wow, that is that is fan freaking tastic to be honest. I am I I'm impressed. I am absolutely impressed. Like this is a good opening. Passion. Props, Passion. Props. Just props all around. Bruv, you're doing it good, you're doing it clean. I like it. The assailants armed with hatchets and pickaxes. Murdered a hundred. Holy. Oh! 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 No, 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 not today. What the fuck, Rika? I mean, Rena. Oh, 
You bring an axe and you lift it up. Jesus. No, you underreacted, KG. You had every right. Like, what kind of axe is in that shape? I never understood how that's a good axe. Because, like, the handle's too short, you know? Like, you keep going at it. Like, with an axe, you, you put all of your weight. It's like a lever. But, yeah. You know, I will say, the artwork is starting to warm up on me a bit. It is starting to warm up. June 16th, 1983. It's so weird that this takes place in the 80s. <laughs> it's so weird seeing him in the uniforms like this. This is weird. <laughs> Tag, I'm guessing. You have no allies. Everyone is your rival. <laughs> um, I knew they were going to play tag. Hold on a second. Can, can I just... Uh, I mean, uh, hold on. I just need to check something here. Um, yeah, sorry. My OBS settings. Um, okay, can I just say... Holy crap. Like, I just... I knew that she was going to say this. But they're going to make it a Batsu game. This is very typical of Igarashi. And I'm not going to lie. Actually, like, you know, the more I see this art style, it's actually starting to warm up on me. At first, I was just like, ah, maybe I'm not so digging it, bruv. Maybe I'm not digging it that much, bruv. But now, I'm just like, all right, bruv. All right, all right. I love it, bruv. I like it, bruv. Bruv. Amazing, bruv. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, I'll just drop the British accent. I've been getting into British slang a lot. Like, I love the word bruv. But yeah, I mean, I, I I dig it. I am I am honestly digging it for some reason. Passion. Props. Hold on. If I could just... I'm just going to look up something. Hold on. Just, just for reference, what did Passion Studio... Uh, Studios... Uh, studios work. Hold up a second. Uh, oh, so they've done High School DxD, and they're relatively new. Rail Wars. Shit, they did Citrus. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought I would know that uh, know something like know some famous works by Passione. I thought like some of their work seems familiar. Like I've heard of them. I'm just trying to recall what they've done, but. Apparently they did God Eater, like a God Eater anime, and I heard about this one series. I've been meaning to check it out, Roka no Yusha. But they did High School DxD apparently. Um, Passion. They deserve they pretty good, pretty good stuff. But I think they could definitely you know do better projects. And this is probably one of uh, this is probably a good example. We're gonna play zombie tag where you tag it means you didn't too. <laughs> you know, I've always questioned like if they made it, would Keiichi end up with Rena or would he end up with Mion? How is Rika able to keep such a calm demeanor knowing what's going to happen, man? She's gonna be it first, watch. You suck, you suck, Satoko. You suck so hard. On <laughs> her luck instead of that brilliant plan. Oh shit. <laughs> Way to ride him out. There's a trap, watch. It's 
Satoko doesn't have any parents. That's fucked up, dude. They're pulling the same shit on him! Those sons of bitches! Those sons of bitches! <laughs> Me on you, son of a... I'm sorry for, like, utilizing that. Don't be- I'll be gentle. <laughs> Phrasing. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Can we just- Can we just- Can we just rewind here? Just- Don't be afraid, Rena. I'll be gentle. Phrasing. Holy shit. Does this show not know the meaning of phrasing? Okay? Like, damn. Phrasing. Phrasing. Come on. I'll be gentle. I mean, literally, Rena looks like- I mean, Rika looks like- that, oh, don't worry, I'm gonna rape your ass. Like, you know, she's like, swiggity swoodity, I'm coming for that booty. <laughs> when I eat you alive. Oh my god! Wait, phrasing! 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 When I eat you alive! Phrasing! Phrasing, come on, bruv. Phrasing. Me. <laughs> bruv, phrasing. Oh, damn, it's a setup. I love how they play, uh, how they're playing into it. Run, bruv, run. Run, bruv. <laughs> what? What the? F oh, wait, you guys got hurt first. I mean, you guys got hit first. How are you a winner? Oh, you gotta be so That's bullshit. Bruv. You're getting paranoid and we all know where this is coming from. Phrasing! 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 Come on! Like, can we just, like, get a meter here, like, for phrasing or something? Just, like, like a little box thing that just says phrasing and goes up every single time they say, like, a, a double entendre. Keiichi's starting to get paranoid. Yeah, you look like an axe murderer. Holy shit. We all know what's going on, though. You know, it's just... God. I feel like this is definitely different. To be honest, like this is this is so much. This is you could tell this is a reboot, you know. But it's pretty damn good. The 
is a crappy axe. Dude, aren't you going to smash the statue, though? Holy shit, bro! Just the parallel. Oh shit, Keiichi's remembering. Holy shit, Keiichi's remembering. This isn't the first time that this has happened. He's trying to beat the timeline again. Bruv. Well done. Well done. Well done, bruv. <laughs> Look at the colonel. That is one big ass statue. Bruh. We always know what those eyes mean. Never goes well. It never goes well when we see those eyes. The dead eyes. Just, it never goes well. Honestly, like, the artwork is really starting to warm up to me. Bruv. I gotta admit, it's really... The artwork is really starting to warm up on me. You know? I like it. I actually do like it. You know? At first it was a little bit like, ah, but then... You know, I took off my nostalgia glasses and I was just like, wow, not bad. So humble. <laughs> oh my god, she's got... Oh, wow. So much shit. <laughs> she's got so much random shit. She's such a hoarder. Watangashi. The Cotton Drifting Festival. For old food time. <laughs> oh my god. Five Demon Battle Royale. Oh man, this is... Okay, so we still got a few minutes to go. But yeah. You know... Being a photographer is kind of a perfect cover, to be honest. It, it's a perfect cover if you're like a cop or something, because you could just be taking photos, etc. You know, say you're doing wildlife photography. It's a really good cover. Man, this is messed up. This is gonna be... It's so weird, because you know everybody's dirty little secret, and watching them, you know, trying to figure it out. It's just so weird. Oh, 
The villagers will ask him to take photos before them too. Oh. Sorry, I'm just checking on something. See? Exactly. It's the perfect cover when you think about it. Because he is actually a spy. Well, he's military, if I recall correctly, or JDSF. But um but yeah, I mean it's 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 a perfect cover. It really is. Being a photographer is the perfect cover for when you're like doing espionage or anything like that. I'm sorry guys, I just um you know, I, I, I'm just trying to get some stuff sorted out here, but yeah, let's get right back to it. You'd make the worst spy ever. <laughs> oh my god. Bruv, it's a perfect cover. I mean, look, they say it in that one movie, uh, what was it, The Usual Suspects. The best trick that the devil ever pulled was having everybody believe he's not real. That's brilliant. You know, that is just a brilliant... He's got a brilliant cover. I wonder what... Why does Rena wear these clothes whenever she's out and about, but she wears different clothes when she's in class? You know, it's, it's just so weird. Like, why the change, you know? I've always wondered about that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, KG, what a sharp witted tongue you have. Phrasing! Phrasing! Do you not know the meaning of phrasing? Phrasing. Phrasing, Rena! Phrasing! Phrasing, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> you cheats! <laughs> Rena, Rika's just like, I, I really eat bitches. It can't taste good that way. Oh my god. <laughs> Bruv. Perfect cover, to be honest. Perfect cover. <laughs> that is the perfect cover, to be honest. Son of a bitch. What the hell was that? Like, we're aware of what you're trying to do, but what the hell was that? Strut her stuff. <laughs> oh, poor Rena. She was probably out getting something cute. <laughs> Wait, what the hell was that? Hold up, hold up. I, I need to go back for a sec. Oh, 
Wow, Mion's trying to set it up. Mion is trying to set it up. I honestly thought that, like, Keiichi would get with Mion if they were to survive, but, you know. Aww. Aww. We already know how this goes down. I wonder how this tragedy is going to end. Wow, Mion set it up. But I think she has feelings for KG too. So does Shion. Now, I'm not sure if we're with Shion or Mion at this moment, but I can't tell the difference, to be honest. Looking at it right now, oh my god, this is so fluid. Can we just appreciate on how well done the artwork is? And the animation? I mean, just look at this right here. Just this singular frame. You could tell a lot of detail was put into this. And, like, the animation is just so fluid. Just look at this right here. This is just beautiful. Can we just... Oh, my God. Look at this. Like, just, just look at it. So fluid. So fluid. Look at that right there. Just... Just so fluid, shot for shot, fluid as hell, and well done. Holy shit, guys. Just just look at that. Just look at it. Oh my god. Just... Bro, so well done. No, oh, this bitch. The nurse bitch. So fluid. Look at that! I mean, dear God, that was so good! The nurse, the bitch! <laughs> wow! So good. So good. Anyway, I'm just gonna mute this, uh, mute the song real quick, just so that way, like... But, you can, it, it, it feels different, like, you know, I mean, honestly, wow! Well done, bruv! Well done. This is starting to grow on me more and more. This is really good. I'm I'm surprised. I am very surprised. Just just well done, bruv. You know what? Maybe we should just skip on ahead. You know, like see if there's an after credit scene. Oh, bruv. Yeah, not creepy ass uncle. Very creepy ass hell, uh, as hell like they're highlighting the dark tragedies. Hold up a second actually. Yep. Um, wow, I was not expecting this. Um, damn. Bruv. I, I was not expecting this, but damn, Passion. Damn, bruv. Hold up. Let's see if there's, like, anything. Demon Deceiving pa Chapter, Part 3. Bruv. Well done. Well done. Honest to God. Well done. And I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Sorry, this thing is... It's mirrored. So, like, my left is... This thing's right, and my right is the left. So, yeah. That is just amazing, bro. Just, just purely amazing. Well done. Well done, Passione. Well done. You brought justice to the series that is Higurashi. I like what you're doing here. I really do like this. This is good. This is not a fresh coat of paint. I would take back my prior statements. Well done. Just, just well done. Anyway, yeah, this is DT signing out. See ya.